What's good, y'all? I'm about to break down the sample, so yeah, let's get straight to it. So there's that for pizza, a little shorter loop. It only has two sections right here, but I'm gonna break it down like I always do. So the first sound was this one right here. So I start off in contact and went with the Dulcet Tone 1900 right here. Yeah, it's one of my favorite bell tone keyboards. So definitely check this out. Here's the MIDI. I'll play it first and then I'm gonna break it down. So I start off with this top melody, sorta. So it's pretty much if I add a, <clears throat> so it's pretty much a C minor chord or different variations of it. So if I place a G note right here and here and here and here, then if we look at these uh, these three notes right here, it's a C minor chord. If we look at these notes right here, it's a C sus two chord. Right here, it's a C sus four chord. And here again, we go back to the C sus 2 chord. Obviously, I wanted to add some low end or like lower frequencies in it. And also, I wanted to add some more rhythm to it. So I added these chords right here. So if I just delete these and just look at these, it's the same notes just being repeated throughout the melody. So these are also just the C minor chord, but it starts at the C, goes up to the G, and then goes down to the third. And then I just move the notes around to get a nice little rhythm of it. And I just duplicate it out throughout the whole melody. Yeah, that's basically the whole main melody of the sample. The effects I added was a compressor, a delay tape, and a dial P right here. So after I had this melody, I added a bass line. And it's just one C note right here. And the preset is from Analog Lab. It's a Dreamer bass from the Analog Lab bank I've been working on. It should drop in a, in a few weeks, I guess. After that, I added this sound right here. This preset is also from Analog Lab and it's also from the bank. It's the clutch key, lo-fi synth right here, and here's the MIDI. It's a C minor chord right here, but the top note has been inverted down one octave. Then I just move on to the sus2 chord and following the root notes. Uh, these new notes right here are following the notes of the original sample. So it starts off at the middle note and then it goes on to the sus2 and then sus4 and then back to the original. And then finally, I added this little synth key sort of melody right here. And these keys is also from the analog lab bank that I've been working on. It's the Doris preset right here. And here's the pattern. I didn't add any effects to it. I just separated the stereo engine a little bit right here. And that's all the sounds for the first section. So there's a final product of the first section. Then it moves into the second part. So the first sound right here is the same that was in the A section, and then the same bass. Uh, and then I got rid of these two sounds and I added a new sound down here. This last sound is kind of like a detuned synth pad or something. And it's also from the same bank that I've been working on. It's the Moon preset. And here's the MIDI. So same thing again. Here's the regular minor chord with some extra notes. Here's the sus2 chord with some extra notes. And then the sus4 with some extra notes. And then back to the sus2 with the same notes. So here's the final product of the second section. So it was a pretty simple sample, I guess. So it felt like I did that super fast, but if you watched the whole video, I appreciate you. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace.